longer Ray 5 firmware. Uh, seems that uh, a lot of people have a problem with uh, upgrading the firmware and you would need to do this if you either added the Lima switch kit to the uh, 5 or 10 watt longer Ray 5 or if you upgraded to the and bought the 20 watt upgrade kit which has limit switches that you would install once you get everything plugged into the motherboard you may have a problem if you don't well you will have a problem if you don't upgrade the firmware so I've this has been upgraded here quite a while ago to the 20 watt and added the limit switches what I've done here so I can do a demonstration is I rolled back the firmware to the previous version so here is what will happen if you don't upgrade the firmware after you install the limit switches or and or do the 20 watt upgrade so I have light burn opened up and I'll turn on the laser here and I'm connected on COM3 laser will say it's ready to connect and it will try to home and my homing speed set pretty low, or my travel speed set pretty low here you can set it higher if you wish but as it approaches on the y-axis to come up down here and stop at the limit here's what's going to happen it'll run into the frame here because it doesn't see that limit because the new firmware has to tell that motherboard that you are using that port on it so I'll show you how to do this We'll go to the computer first. Okay, you will need to download the uh, firmware package from Longer's website. There will be a link in the description if you can't find it. I know one of the links on the uh, website under support does not work. So uh, you need to be on the uh, page where you would order the limit switch kit or the 20 watt upgrade kit. What you're looking for is this file right here, Ray5-FW-V. 1.2.4.1 and it'll download as a zip file what you'll need to do then is unzip that and you will come up with these files here and there's a firmware upgrading guide that you can open up and look at or you can print out one of the things you're going to need to do is install the MKS laser tool setup for firmware updates And you can just install that. Hit finish. Now you'll need to connect your laser and have a blank TF card or micro SD card, whichever you'd like to call it. Start this program. So I'll turn my laser back on here. That's that noise you hear in the background. You need to go to the MKS. ESP32 download tool. You need to select the right port and I'm on COM3 and you can leave the flash size and the ball, you can leave all that stuff alone. Now we have to select the right firmware, that's what's up here. You can delete that because you can't read that. Put this little box up here. Now I need to go down to where that is. So in the file there, under tool, we'll say firmware, click on that, there is the firmware we want, that will open, and this button right here is actually start, you click that, now yeah, oh, it wouldn't open COM3, I wonder why that is. Probably because I have light burn open. So we'll close that. There we go. Yeah, don't have light burn open. This takes a few minutes, or moments I should say, not really minutes. It'll let you know when it's finished. Okay, it took 28.5 seconds.
Now we need to unplug, replug, or reset device to switch back to normal boot mode. So what we're going to do is turn the laser off, and then I'll show you the next thing we need to do here with the configuration file. So we have the laser turned off. So we're done with this program here now. So what we need to do now is go to the configuration. So you'll see DLC underscore CFG. You can either copy that or you can drag it to your uh, drive. I have a, a blank SD card, micro SD card in my drive F. So I'll just drag this down here and copy it. I'll open that and make sure it's there. Okay, so I can eject that and place it into the laser and then we'll get back to the camera so what we need to do now is take the uh, TF card or micro SD card whichever you'd like to call it and we need to place that back into the little slot here Make sure it seats then you can restart your laser and you'll say it'll show on the screen that it's updating the configuration and it says update succeeded please restart so what you want to do now turn the laser back off remove that card and either put a blank one in or delete that file from it and I'm going to delete the file is what I'm going to do and then put it back in okay so now when I start this up in light burn it connects then home on the x-axis And it homes on the y-axis. Just like it's supposed to. So, as you can see, it's not difficult. Um, hopefully, as going through this step-by-step, step, and some people may think that's too basic to tell me I talk too much. But, for those who don't really understand how to do it, I want to take this through step-by-step step and show you that it's not really that difficult to do. Uh, just follow the steps as I've done here. Uh, Again, there'll be a link in the description on where you can download this firmware package. Now this is for the upgrade to adding limit switches to the longer array 5, 5 or 10 watt, or if you have done the upgrade with the 20 watt head and added the limit switches. You absolutely have got to do this firmware update or it will not see that Y-axis limit switch. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.